Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, DJI Mavic 3 with me today and uh, day before yesterday or whatever, we had the firmware update for this guy, uh, number 01, well, let me look it up for you to make sure, uh, but it was, uh, okay, the firmware update is number 01.00. Dot zero six zero zero, and what did it do? It uh, the big one that everybody's been waiting for. It added in increased the speed of searching GNN, GNSS, which is the GPS satellites. For the drone to acquire satellites, that's been everybody's big complaint, and fixed an issue with quick twitch. Quick transfer uh, was not available for some scenarios in certain regions and fixed some minor bugs. So uh, in any case, the main thing we want to look at today is uh, how quick we grab satellites. So I'm going to uh, show you what I've got set up here. Yeah, you should see that on the ground there. I've got my uh, uh, iPad set up in front of the landing pad. And as soon as I start the drone, I'm going to start the stopwatch on the iPad and uh, that way hopefully we can see how quickly it uh, it gains satellites so uh, and show you on the screen there uh, now I gotta tell you it's not anything that I've had a big problem with uh, personally uh, I think the longest I've taken is you know just a couple of minutes two maybe three minutes at the most and typically I'm still messing around doing compass calibrations and stuff, so it's not anything that's really bothered me. Now I know there are a lot of people, Billy Kyle had a video the other day, uh, he spent 15 minutes trying to get a connection and ultimately didn't get one. So I know that there are issues out there, and particularly if you're flying uh, commercially doing a real estate shoot, something like that, time is money. So I understand why that's important. Uh, but anyway, we're going to check that out. Now, I'm at a little different location, so I am parked behind the Mega Walmart that I fly behind sometimes when I'm uh, over at Heroes Park. I just thought I'd take off from someplace a little bit different here. And uh, this is Saturday, so typically the parks are pretty busy, and I thought this would be a little better. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of trucks that park uh, at the end of the street, but that's okay. Uh, they're, they're just, uh, this is a good place for them to park and, and, uh, and be out of the way and be able to be home with their families. So, uh, fully support that. Uh, okay, let's quit messing around. Uh, let's get this bird in the air. Okay, guys, I've got the controller all set up, so I'm going to see if I can uh, get this going uh, down here with the drone. And by the time I get the screen recorder started, uh, and, and recording started on the drone, you know, it will have been a few seconds into it. But understand that I'm going to start the stopwatch at exactly the same time I fire up the drone so that we get an accurate count of how long it actually took to get those satellites. Okay, I started recording, so I'm hoping that it will focus on the... Uh, in fact, I'm going to see if I can get it to focus on that. And hopefully pointed the camera down and hopefully it can see that. Uh, so it's not been too long and we already have uh, eight satellites. So uh, yeah, 11 satellites. Uh, yeah, it's not taking long at all. And I'm looking on my FPV screen and I'm struggling to see, hopefully it's seeing that countdown on there. Uh, I turned the drone where it's facing away from the sun but it's still uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that on the recording. 11 satellites now, it's been maybe a minute. We're going to wait till it tells us that we've got, uh, uh, that we have a uh, uh, home point recorded. There's 12. Home point recorded right there, so I'm going to stop right there. So it was roughly a minute and 35 seconds, uh, so that's not bad. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this bird in the air now. So, yeah, we can go ahead and take off with it facing this direction. I don't know why not. Let's point it up, uh, get it back to uh, zero here. Of 
There we go. Push that function button a couple times. We're still recording. We've got 14 satellites at about uh, two minutes in. So let's do uh, let's do an auto takeoff on the app here. And it's telling us about a flight restriction. We know about that. And, you know, it updated the home point again. Let's go straight up and get about that seven meters high or so and give it a good look at its uh, home point uh, so that it can uh, see that. And, uh, yeah, let's refocus here on uh, infinity. So I wanted just to focus out in the distance there. Uh, so that it uh, so that we know we have a good focus and you're seeing a tree in front of the drone here but uh, Anyway, let me drop the camera down a little bit and let's just go straight up And you guys are going to recognize this territory anybody that follows my channel will Let's uh, kind of move around here out over the field and what you're seeing there is that mega Walmart. And, uh, and you'll get a look at where I'm at here. And kind of yawn around here. So you can see my uh, Tahoe down there and you can see where those trucks are parked. And so that's kind of where we're at. So you guys are all familiar with this territory. Uh, we have uh, we've flown out here quite a bit. I always forget how fast this drone is. I mean, you know, I'm just in normal mode, and and it's just a flick of the stick, and you're you're really uh, getting up in speed. So, uh, kind of cool. Let's. Uh, I'm going to zero it in on us here and kind of fly over the top of us. We can kind of look at some of the things that uh, that maybe we don't normally uh, get a look at when I'm over here. We can see this little, uh, we can kind of take a look at this little grassy area where they, they planted some grass. And I thought about taking off out there, but clearly they've got some flags parted out, out there. And I don't know if they've replanted some grass or what, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to mess with that. So let's, uh, we can go ahead and get kind of a look at it here. We're kind of out of everybody's way. Drone's right about over the top of me here. Well, I always forget how quick this drone uh, loses altitude. I mean, it, uh, it'll get on the deck quick. Let's pick that camera up just a little. And we can, uh, can kind of stay over this area here. In fact, I'm going to throw it in cine mode so I'm not moving quite so fast. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks like they've got a little bit of uh, uh, landscaping up here in between this and the field next to this. This must just be a little swale right here, huh? Yeah, that's just a little swale for uh, flood control, it looks like. Probably part of what they had to do to put all this development in. I think that is a credit union or something right there. Let's kind of curve around here and you can kind of get a better look at this. Uh, that road that you're looking at in front of us is 10 mile road. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, Busy day at Walmart today. Looks like they got all the garden supplies out and everything. So, uh, yeah, I guess everybody's seen a Walmart before, so we don't need to spend a lot of time looking at that. Uh, but let's go back out and let's uh, let's get another look at the field out here. And of course, there's nothing planted out here now, but usually we're pretty high above the ground when we fly over this guy. So let's uh, let's get a little lower. We're about 11 meters off the ground, about 30 foot out. Looks like they, I don't know if they've planted anything yet here or not. I'm not sure I'm looking at it or if they just uh, drug a rake over it to break up the dirt clods. And it looks like, it almost looks like it might be planted already with uh, grain, but I can't say that for certain. And then let's see what's on the other side here. I'm gonna go back into normal mode, speed it up a little. And you saw that instantly, did it? And they've got, uh, yeah, they've, they, look, 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 see, that, that it is planted, and they've planted this already, so I don't know what that is. It's some sort of grain. I guess we'll find out. Kind of give you a look at the, uh, at their irrigation ditch here, so I'm sure this is the farmer's own irrigation ditch, and look at that, he even 
has got it set up with uh, uh, little cement uh, gutters there to keep it from overflowing. Pretty classy setup if I do say myself. I can tell you when I was on the farm. Oh, and then this is so he can cross from one side of the field to the other. Built himself a little bridge there. Yeah, pretty cool. That's kind of the fun of a drone like this to me is the kind of exploring that you can do. So let's get some altitude. And uh, this is, uh, is, you know, I've shown you guys this over here. This is another field and a neighborhood park on the other side over here. So we can go, we can go look at that. And this park that we're looking at here is a, uh, it's a private park. So in other words, it's a park that is maintained by the subdivision. And you know, they get their own pond here and so forth. I don't know, I wonder if they, wonder if they stock that guy with fish. Don't know. But you know, I never see a lot of people out here. You know, I've flown out here quite a bit. You don't see a lot of people. That's their clubhouse. and. Looks like they got a basketball court next to it. Uh, I can tell you that parking lot there, I parked my Corvette in there one day and it is, uh, it's not asphalt, it's pavers. So they spent some money on that. But it doesn't look like they spend a lot of money on landscaping, etc. Uh, so I don't know, you know, subject to the whims of a homeowners association, I'm sure. And it looks like they got their own pool of course, not open yet, still a little bit too cold. And there we are off over there behind the Walmart. The other thing that I wanted to show you, and we still have uh, plenty of battery, so we're in good shape there. Uh, so you guys all know Heroes Park off in the distance here. I'm gonna pick up the camera and kind of put it right in the center there. That's Heroes Park that we fly at quite a bit. But one of the things that I wanted to do today, and we've got an aircraft off above us to our left, and interestingly enough, he's way higher than us, but he's not showing up on ADSB. So evidently, he's not squawking on ADSB. And I thought that if you were within controlled airspace, you had to have it. And we are actually, uh, this is actually considered Class E airspace, although uh, you, you don't need permission to fly here because it's bisected by, uh, by a solid line. Uh, so, so we're good, we're perfectly legal for, for all intents and purposes, it's Class G to us. Uh, but that aircraft, I thought that he would have to be squawking ADSB and he was not. So that's interesting. Let's, uh, let's move down the street here. Now you guys have, I've taken you guys down this before. And we're gonna stay uh, kind of over the street here a little bit. Let's grab a little altitude so that we don't uh, bother anybody. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit off here. I'm, what I meant to do is I meant to be over here. Over here by uh, uh, oh gosh, I'm on the spot here. I'm trying to remember the name of this park. Oh man, I fly here all the time. It's a guy's name. <laughs> eh, I don't remember, but you guys have seen me fly here before. So let's kind of move over the park here a little bit. And what I wanted to show you, the reason I'm here is I wanted to show you uh, the amount of development that's taken place here. Now, you know, not long ago, I flew out there to the corner of that uh, from Heroes Park, and it was just nothing but a farmer's field. And now, of course, it's full of houses, and that's an over 55 development. But let's cross here, and we can be over on this where it's just uh, just still a construction site, and there's nothing going on there. So, uh, but I want to show you everything that's going on here by the uh, by the Costco, and I always call it the new Costco, but I guess it's been open for. I don't know, a year and a half now at least, maybe even longer than that. And it's a Saturday, so it looks like it's fairly busy over there. And uh, you know, what, what used to be just a field 
in front of it now I see they're doing some construction and we're not going to cross that next street there that's Chinden Boulevard but uh, we're going to go over here and uh, we can look down here a little bit let's let that car go by and let's tilt the camera down a little bit and see looks like they're yeah I wonder what they're building here yeah and so that you just saw that uh, I, I just saw on my FPV screen that it's telling me again about classy airspace uh, so yeah something's going up there I don't know look at that foundation I wonder what that is I wonder if it could be the Costco car wash right typically they put a car wash in I wonder if that's what that is and then that's the gas station over there and I'm gonna hit that up as soon as we're done here because uh, the last time I filled up my Chevy Tahoe was in uh, Nevada so it's on I don't know it's getting almost down to a quarter of a tank uh, but I wanted to show you the other construction there's a bunch of you know this Costco goes up and you remember you guys you know that have followed my channel for a while you can see Heroes Park there off on the top left and I used to fly from there and I used to cross over by that LDS church and I would come over here and this was all just an open field and I would fly uh, the, the, uh, the little Hubson Zeno comes to mind the original Hubson Zeno I would fly it to the end of the field and, and back uh, but anyway it's a you know we're seeing just phenomenal growth and none of those houses that you see off in the distance were here I mean it's just the growth is just amazing. So let's kind of move to the side and uh, and I want to show you uh, some of the other the other side here. And all of this just months ago was an empty field, kind of behind the Costco here. Look at that. We're not going to go over the top of that, but uh, but I just wanted to show you. And I, you know what is that? I mean, it looks like. Is it going to be kind of a, a strip mall, I suppose, or 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 art? Or, you know what? Those very well may be. Uh, they very well may be like duplexes, like uh, housing. I don't. I can't say for certain. Let's kind of let's kind of move over the top, and we can we can look down here a little bit and kind of tell yeah I mean if I'm a betting man I am saying that that's some kind of housing there uh, right behind the Costco and then you got businesses there on the other side okay let's uh, let's pick up that camera and come back to us here and maybe we can uh, sneak across to uh, to Heroes Park and see what's going on over there. We've still got 55% battery. And the drone is uh, operating perfectly now. I've heard some people had complaints about disconnections and so forth. Uh, you know, you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. I've seen none of that, so uh, all's good as far as I'm concerned. And uh, let's get back over the field. and we'll turn around the other way where we can just cross kind of directly across 10 mile here and go over there to Heroes Park. So there is the, uh, you guys have seen me fly at that, uh, you know, right, I, I typically park in that parking lot next to the fish pond there. I dropped us down to about 55 meters here. Okay, let's go straight across. So it doesn't look like there's much. I, I probably could have flown from Heroes Park there. Look at that. It doesn't look like there's much going on. I kind of avoided it because I figured on a Saturday, I figured it'd be pretty busy. So I came to this spot. And uh, again, you know, the goodness of the, uh, of the Mavic 3, you know, we've been flying for quite a while. Let's see, we've been recording for 16 minutes and we've still got 51% battery. So you guys have seen this view many, many times. I always like to look at the Boise front off in the distance over there. Let's kind of turn this guy around. Tell you what I want to do. I want to put her in sport mode 
And let's see how fast we can get this guy back here. I'm going to get it aimed kind of, uh, kind of right towards us. Picking up that camera. I'm throwing it in sport mode and uh, we are at 57 meters. Let's, uh, let's go full stick forward right now. So full tilt. And let's see how fast this baby will get back to us. 19, 20 meters per second. So that's over 40 miles an hour. 21 meters per second. So, you know, that's about, I don't know, 46, 47 miles an hour, pretty close. I think 21 meters per second is 47 miles an hour. That's pretty darn good. And there we are down there. We're gonna, my, uh, my aim was good because it's gonna come right over the top of us here. And boy, yeah, I'm dropping the camera down as we go. There we are. And I can hear that drone just hauling the mail up there. Very cool. Okay, I think we can, uh, let's cross over here. I'm gonna go right down the middle of this street. And uh, what you see here, and let's let that car go wherever he's going to go. Yeah, okay, he's done. I wanted to show you this park here. Put it back in normal mode. This is another uh, private park for this uh, subdivision. And boy, it looks like they need to green up their grass too. So what do they got going here? It looks like they just got a little play area and a couple of benches. No place really to park, but I guess you would park on the edge there. But they do have a, you know, kind of a nice little park. And here's another farmer's field. Soon to be a subdivision, I'm willing to bet. Holy cow. That just always amazes me. Uh, you know, we get development, but there's always room for more. And I just realized I was uh, pointing directly away from the drone and, you know, no signal issues whatsoever. Yeah, so speaking of development, look at here. We're, uh, looks like they're doing some development off over here. And what are they doing down here? This is some ag work, maybe? Or are they working on that? Or are they construction working on this? Whatever this is going to be. It looks like the start of another subdivision. And my GoPro uh, just stopped from uh, overheating. And boy, we even have a little bit of a breeze. That's kind of interesting. So I will be relying on the uh, audio from my, uh, from my iPhone here. So I will, uh, I'll try and start it back up here in a second, but let it cool off a little bit. We even got a breeze going, which that's kind of unusual. What, one of the things that I need to do with that GoPro is uh, I, I always have it on uh, uh, horizon uh, leveling. And I should turn that off when I'm doing stuff like this because I think that uses more power, causes more heat, etc. Yeah, I mean, it looks to me like they're not even planting this field. So this is the next subdivision over. Isn't that something? Okie dokie. Let's uh, pick up that gimbal a little bit here. And we're, you can see us off over by the Walmart there. Let's throw her into uh, sport mode and uh, bring it back to us. And again, let's see this direction, how fast. Uh, this guy will get up to and we will just cross this street doesn't look like there's any traffic anyway so we're good to go how fast are we going yeah there again 21 meters per second a little over 21 so that's about 47 miles an hour that seems to be the norm for this drone we'll go out uh, here a ways and we'll uh we'll kick it into uh uh return to home and uh, hopefully 
I can uh, get my GoPro turned back on. And if I can't, I'll fire up my other one. Okay, so I am going to just let the drone hover for a second. And I am going to uh, fire up my other GoPro. See if I can get that switched out. And uh, then we'll just edit that out of this video. Hey, okay, that did not take me nearly as long as, uh, as I thought it would. So, uh, so we're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead. We're down to 22% battery. Uh, I am going to go, heck, what, let's, I'm not one to waste battery. We're still, yeah, we're in normal mode. Let's go all the way out here to the corner. And, uh, in fact, let's drop this guy down and let's see what it does, what that intelligent return to home does for us. So I'm going to drop it down to, let's take it down about 10 meters high. And then we're going to hit return to home and let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, it's hitting return to home on the controller and it's pointing back towards us. And this is that smart return to home, right? So it is, I see it raising in altitude and I can't remember what I have my return to home height set at. Uh, I Normally I look at that, uh, but I didn't this time. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, so it's only going up like 24 meters high, so it kind of knows what it's, uh, what it's looking for here. And let's see as it gets closer to us what it does. I mean, I've, you know, no doubt it sees those trucks there. Let's see, we've got these. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned because we do have these trees right here. So if it looks like it's coming down on one of those, Let's see what happens. And, nah, we're gonna be fine. We're in good shape. Looks like it's gonna hit the uh, landing pad perfectly. And you guys are gonna see that. There, it picked up the camera. Yeah, right on. So it's a precision landing. <laughs> oh man, look at that, almost in the center of the landing pad. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop recording, and we were in the air for uh, 26 minutes, or 26 minutes recording, 16% battery left, so that's pretty good. Okay, shutting it down. Uh, let me get everything turned off, and then we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Mavic 3 firmware update number 01.00.0600. Got that baby memorized this time. Uh, so the big thing about that update was, the big thing for most of us, was that it improved the time it takes in which the drone can gather GPS signals and set its home point, and then you know that it, it knows where its home point is, etc. Very important, obviously, if you want your drone to come back to you. Uh, in my case, it's never been too big of a problem, but th this is definitely an improvement. It was about a minute and 30 seconds for me from the time I hit that button till the drone got 12 satellites and said I've got a home point. Uh, so, I don't know, that's good enough for me. I mean, particularly if you're going to do a, uh, a compass calibration, etc., or mess around. Uh, so, I think, uh, I think there's, we definitely saw an improvement. Now, other people have reported that they still had connection issues and some other things. I have to tell you, uh, I've seen none of that. Uh, we had a perfect flight with this thing today. Really saw nothing at all, no issues at all with the drone. And in fact, it just, it's so amazing, the connection. I was in places uh, that, you know, I had the drone fairly low and relatively far away and no signal issues or anything. And, and uh, we just got to show you some of the territory here. Took off from a little different spot here, kind of behind the big uh, Walmart. Uh, yeah, just for something different. Uh, and, and I wanted to try out the drone. That was the big thing. I wanted to try out that firmware update. And uh, it seems to be good. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
Uh, we're just a few days off. Uh, today is Saturday. A week from today, I'll be at the South Florida Drone Meetup uh, with, uh, with uh, Captain Ray and Ron Brown and Johnny Drone Flyer and, and Maddie's Drone World and everybody else. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun and uh, looking forward to that. And you got to know this is the drone that I'm going to take with me. Uh, so gosh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it if you do. And, uh, but most of all, uh, I do appreciate you took your time out of your day to watch my video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mavic 3. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.